Well, we're moving along in our third-person shooter here, and I was just the other day playing uh, Duke Nukem 3D, and in that game you can get a jetpack, and I thought that'd be something cool that we can add to our uh, little character here. Uh, wasn't really sure how to do it, but I figured it out. I've only done it once, so hopefully I get through it again in this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go to the top view here, and what we have to do is we have to make a jetpack, and I'm just going to make a simple little little thing. Obviously, if you're going to actually make a game, you're going to spend a little more time on it than this, but I'm going to add a box or a cube. I'm going to scale it down, scale it on the y-axis, uh, then I'm going to grab it and let's move it over here so we can see it a little better. I'm going to scale it a little on the z-axis. Now I'm going to hit tab to go into edit modes and I'm going to add a uh, UV sphere here. I'm going to put down to maybe 15 segments and I will just leave it at 32 rings, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to scale that down, zoom in a little, and I'm going to grab it. And the reason we're doing this in edit mode on that object is that now that we've added that sphere, it's added as part of that object, which just makes it easier because we want it to be one object. Uh, now I'm going to scale it on the Z axis here. And I'm just, just like I said, this isn't going to be a pretty jetpack. It's just to look like a jetpack. So there we go. We're going to call that our jetpack. We're going to come in here and name it jetpack. We're going to go into. Uh, this game mode here, we're going to add a property and we're going to call it Jetpack. We'll make that an integer. Okay, now we're going to clone that object, so Shift D, drag it, and we're going to put it on our actor, our little model's back here, so he has a little jetpack. We're going to parent it by selecting, uh, Shift selecting our character and hitting Control P, make parent. Uh, and then we're going to make it an actor, a ghost. Uh, we're going to add that while we're also going to name, rename this property on this one. We'll just call it, I just realized I call it jackpack. <laughs> we'll call it jetpack. We'll call it jet there and jetpack on this one. Go back to the one on the character's back that should be parented. Like I said, we made actor, ghost, and we're going to say properties, and while it's property jet equals zero, we're going to connect to this, this, we're going to go visibility, and we're going to make it invisible. And by default, it is zero, so it should be invisible when we start the game, which it is. And uh, let's add to this uh, jetpack. We're going to make it an actor, and we're going to make it so when it collides, collision, with something that has the property of player, we want to add object, and we're going to say end object. We're also going to click on our player and give him a property of player. Now when we start the game, you can see if I come over and I touch the character to the jetpack, that jetpack disappears. Now we have to make the this jetpack here appear when they uh, when he picks up that other jetpack. So we're gonna have we have the player selected here. We're gonna go add and we're gonna say uh, on collision with something that has the property of jetpack, which would be this jetpack over here. We're going to say change its property and we're going to add another property here, make it an integer, and we're going to call it jet. Connect this and this, and we're going to say <coughs> property here. of jet will equal one. Now we're going to go back to the jetpack that's parented to it, to our player, and we're going to add when it's property of jet equals one, then we're going to make it visible. But the thing is we have to make it so that the jet 
uh, property on the pack is also the property that's on the player. So we're going to add another thing here that always, so it's going to constantly be checking property, and we're going to say copy, and we're going to say packs jet property is the same as the player. Oh, we have to name our sphere here player. There we go. So the jet uh, packs jet property is equal to the player jet property. Don't for connect, forget to connect that to there. So now, when we go and we pick up this pack, boop, we get a little jet pack on our back there. Now we still have to make the jet pack work. Currently we have for our player, when we hit spacebar, the uh, is our jump option. We should actually, you should get in the habit of naming these sensors what they are, so we're going to call this jump. So we want to make it so that add property here, the player jet property, if it equals one, let's make this window a little bit bigger here, uh, so when that equals one and we're pressing play, so we're going to grab or pressing space. So from this jump option, we're dragging that down to here. We're going to give our player an upward force. So on the Z axis, uh, let's put this at 0.5 and see how that works. So right now, if I hit space bar, he hops, he does a little jump, but if we pick up the jetpack, Jetpack goes on his back. Now when I hit spacebar, he didn't actually move very much further. Let's uh, put this at 10 and see how that works. There we go. Just needed to up our number a little bit. So as long as I'm holding spacebar and I have my jetpack on, I can fly around. So that's a quick, quick little way to make a jetpack in Blender for your player. Once again, I know I move fast in these tutorials. If you didn't catch something, rewind the video. And uh, also, I just, uh, I'm assuming that you know the basics of Blender already. So that's creating a jetpack for our, our third person shooter here. Go pick it up, hit spacebar, and you're flying away. If you need to look at the file, I'm going to upload this uh, Blender file to my website. The link's in the uh, description. And also visit filmsbychris.com for uh, more computer-related and Blender-related uh, tutorials and videos. Thank you. Have a great day.